Okay, ladies and gents, this is the last leg of our trip. Uh, we're heading back to Barcelona today, and yesterday we came here to Zaragoza. You can see behind me, this is the Pilar, um, a famous site where many people come. It's another kind of religious pilgrimage site, uh, extremely famous in Spain. It's a beautiful place. I'm going to pop inside in a minute and get some, uh, some shots. But there's two things really about Zaragoza that are famous. One is the Pilar, this place. The other is El Tubo, which is the, uh, a network of small streets and it's uh, kind of like a, the, the nightlife place. It's, uh, it's a kind of narrow streets, little network there and yeah, all types of different restaurants, all types of different food. We went there briefly last night. I do say briefly because the temperatures yesterday were absolutely savage. When we arrived it was 41 degrees here and apparently during the day it got up to 44. Today I'm speaking in the morning here, it's not too bad. I'd estimate it at around 30 something degrees, but it's gonna rise again. And like last night we tried walking around, you could feel the heat just penetrating all your body, man. It was horrible. Um, kind of humid heat and it's a bit drier than Catalonia, I suppose, but 40 something degrees is, is just absolutely brutal. Um, so yeah, that was it really. We had a, a pleasant evening, but couldn't actually do very much. Uh, another interesting fact about Zaragoza is that it is the capital of Aragon. Aragon being the next region next to Catalonia. So it took us, as I say, probably five hours to come down from Asturias yesterday and it'll be three hours back to Catalonia today. So it kind of breaks up the journey a little bit. It was nice to have a sleep. Well, I'm going to have a little look around now and uh, check back in a bit later. All right. There's also a very lively local market here, we just popped in. Both of my girlfriend's parents are actually from here, so she's currently looking around trying to find something to, uh, to give them when we go back. But it's, it's absolutely packed in here, which is obviously good to see. All the local traders, you've got all sorts of stuff. Meats, vegetables, dried fruits, uh, you know, the sausages here, they've got something that I haven't seen for a long time, you know, all the uh, offal. You know, like tripe and liver and kidneys and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's still pretty popular over here, um, in some parts anyway. And yeah, just a bit of a throwback. I haven't seen that stuff for a while. So hopefully she can find what she's looking for. We can get into the, into the cathedral and have a little look around. All right. Okay, so I'm going to put a photo up which shows two bombs inside the church. And they have an important significance because in the Civil War of 1936, there was two bombs were dropped on this, uh, on this cathedral, this basilica here, and miraculously they didn't explode. So I'm assuming now they've been officially disarmed and, you know, whatever, and they've kept them uh, still hanging in there as a sign of uh, how blessed this place is, uh, I guess, is the, is the significance. But, it is quite miraculous, two big bombs and uh, neither one of them exploded. I think a couple more fell in the surrounding area and they did explode, but the ones that fell through the roof of the basilica did not. And they're kept here for posterity and um, I'll put a photo up of them as well. All right, time to head back to Barcelona. So into the car, be glad to escape this heat and uh, heading home. <laughs> 